Congresswoman Rice for five minutes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, I just want to thank uh, our colleague, Mr. Villarakis, for raising the issue of the um, importance of the MOU between the NTIA and the FCC. And I think it's really, really important that it be fixed. Um, everyone's acknowledged that maybe it's not where it needs to be. Um, and I think that's really important. Um, government and industry working together has allowed the U.S. to be the global leader in new and emerging wireless technology. We were the first nation with widespread 4G coverage, leading to countless innovations here in the U.S., including the development of the app economy. Now, with the emergence of 5G and next-generation Wi-Fi capabilities, the U.S. can build um, on this leadership record, grow our economy, and be on the forefront of technological innovation for the good of communities everywhere. Uh, Mr. Geis, you mentioned the importance of coordinated spectrum management. It seems that recent spectrum disputes involved uh, parties that questioned the finality of the FCC's decisions. How can Congress ensure that parties with interest in a spectrum ban are able to have their voices heard early in the process and at the same time allow FCC to reach a final decision that everyone can count on in making investment and development decisions? Thank you so much, Congresswoman. It's a great question. And, uh, you know, as this committee and as the chairman and ranking member have highlighted, uh, reinforcing that interagency process and insisting on it being followed is the best step. And the oversight of this committee on that process is extremely helpful in producing that finality. So I encourage this committee to stay very active on that uh, with members around the around Congress that, that are quite often approached uh, uh, by private entities and on behalf of some of the federal agencies that they regulate uh, to get involved in this process. So it is a difficult one to, to fix. Uh, that said, you know, there is a public process that is run and these entities, these private entities, the, the government agencies should all participate fully in bringing those that information to the record so that we can make an evidence-based decision. I think as Ms. Brown testified, you know, it's, it's a sad fact that at the end of the process, in fact, after the process was done, that we learned that there were these concerns with the altimeters and the, and the C-band. Um, that's just un inexcusable. There was an opportunity for a public record and for data to be submitted to, to take into account those concerns. Um, and so that's sort of how we fix it. We, we have to insist on not only that public participation, but at the end, when the decision has been made uh, in coordination with NTIA and the FCC to go forward with these spectrum auctions, uh, that that finality is insisted upon and that there's given no quarter for those voices that come in after the fact to try to disrupt it. 